In the world of combat sports, fights can be unpredictable with outcomes that are sometimes difficult to predict. In today's video, we will be taking a look at 20 fights that were over in seconds, leaving both the competitors and the audience stunned. Whether it's a perfectly timed knockout punch, a devastating submission hold, or an unexpected turn of events, these fights showcase the sheer power and speed of the human body in combat. Tyson versus Marvis Frazier. Next up, we have a classic fight from the boxing world. Mike Tyson, known for his explosive power and devastating knockouts, took on Marvis Frazier in 1986, and it was over almost as soon as it began. Tyson landed a vicious uppercut just 30 seconds into the first round that sent Frazier stumbling backward into the corner of the ring. A few more punches later and Frazier was on the canvas. It was a brutal knockout that showcased Tyson's raw power, easily becoming one of the fastest fights ever. Gerald McClellan vs. Jay Bell Let me tell you about the time when Gerald McClellan, the knockout king, was on a rampage in 1993. He had already knocked out Julian Jackson, the reigning champ, in just five rounds, and his next opponent was Jay Bell. Now, Bell was no slouch, but let's face it, McClellan was in a league of his own. The two stepped into the ring in August, and it didn't take long for McClellan to make his mark. In just 20 seconds, he delivered a body shot to Bell's solar plexus that sent him to the mat, writhing in pain. With that knockout, McClellan laid claim to the fastest knockout in middleweight world champion history, and let me tell you, it was a thing of beauty. It's been almost 30 years, but that 20-second masterpiece still stands as a testament to McClellan's greatness. Ante Wilder vs. Dominic Briaziel Moving back to the world of boxing, we have a fight that saw Deontay Wilder, one of the hardest-hitting heavyweights of all time, take on Dominic Briaziel in 2019. It took Wilder just 2 minutes and 17 seconds to end the fight, landing a crushing right hand that sent Briazil to the ground. The man tried to stand up, but when he did, he just couldn't stand any longer. It was a knockout that sent shockwaves through the boxing world and cemented Wilder's reputation as a true knockout artist. Harold Guerre vs. Daniel Jimenez The next one is a knockout tale that'll leave you reeling. It was the battle of the century with undefeated Austrian fighter Harold Guerre taking on Daniel Jimenez for the WBO Super Bantamweight title. Guerre had a home advantage and an unbelievable blemished record, but Jimenez wasn't about to let him keep his zero for long. In the blink of an eye, Jimenez knocked Gear out cold in just 17 seconds flat. It's known to be the quickest snatch of a fighter's zero in the history of any major world championship fight. Gear's home advantage didn't stand a chance against the lightning fast fists of Jimenez. Prince Nassim Hamid vs. Said Lowell Prince Nassim Hamid was the man of the hour back in the 90s, and when he set his sights on the featherweight division, everyone knew he meant business. In 1995, Nassim proved he was a force to be reckoned with by snagging his very first world championship title. But he didn't stop there. The following year, he took on Said Lowell and utterly dominated the poor guy with two swift knockouts in just 35 seconds. After that second brutal knockdown, the ref had no choice but to wave it off and let Lowell lay on the ring in defeat. Phil Williams vs. Brandon Burke The next fight in today's video was that of Phil Williams and Brandon Burke. It all went down in 2007 when Williams, only four fights into his pro career, faced off against Burke in a match that would go down in the record books. In a jaw-dropping turn of events, Williams let out a powerful right hand only 10 seconds into the fight, sending him crashing to the canvas. This insane record by William will forever be remembered in boxing history. Chris Eubanks vs. Reginaldo Dos Santos Up next is a fight back into the boxing world between Chris Eubanks and Reginaldo Dos Santos. In 1990, Eubanks, the undefeated WBC international middleweight champion, stepped into the ring with Dos Santos. With lightning fast punches and impressive footwork, Eubanks managed to knock out Dos Santos just 20 seconds into the first round. It was a jaw-dropping victory that left the crowd on the edge of their seats. Bernard Hopkins vs. Steve Frank Bernard Hopkins, a former boxing champ, was famous for his legendary defense moves that could put anyone to sleep, literally. 
Some fans snoozed during his matches. But hold on tight, folks, because this wasn't always the case. In his early days, he was a knockout king, and Steve Frank learned that lesson the hard way when Frank took on Hopkins for the IDF middleweight title. Before Frank could do anything, it was all done, as Hopkins delivered a powerful combo that sent Frank crashing to the mat in just 24 seconds. Hopkins then defended his IDF belt 19 times and snatched WB. WBO and ring titles. So that's all for today's episode. Folks, if you enjoyed watching, leave a like and share it with your friends. You can also comment and let us know what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You'll want to check out our other videos. Stay tuned for more awesomeness. Thanks for watching.